Hi, it's me, Jeff, the SP Spaz, back again with another scintillating video. Um, and welcome to Ask Jeff Thursdays. Yeah, I, I know it It sounds uh, like a cutesy thing or whatever, but I decided, you know, I'd seen some other YouTube channels that uh, kind of did theme days, and I decided this might be a good way to keep myself kind of on track in that I can, you know, record videos whenever, but I can... Uh, upload them on certain days so that people know, you know what content to expect from me when, you know, I'm, I'm okay with being, having certain things being predictable because other people prefer that. So I try to, you know, balance that a little bit, you know, but it doesn't mean I won't just pop up with some random video anytime I feel like it, because I can still do that, obviously. But for the time being, um, I decided to, uh, to do the days of the week thing. So this is the first of my um, Ask Jeff videos. And the cool thing about this is, you know, the inter it's interactive, obviously, because uh, you can, if you have questions for me about anything, uh, you can leave it in the comments of this video, and I might answer your question in a future video. You know, or I might just answer in the comment. It depends on, you know, or I might, I might tell you uh, a, a short answer and then say, stay tuned for a longer answer, you know, something like that. But the idea behind this is to, is to try to make most of the videos uh, short um, to the point in terms of the answer, not, but, you know, it may vary from question to question, depending on how involved the question is. Sometimes the answer might be a little more involved. But I have no problem with the fact that even though I haven't, um, been uploading videos recently uh, at the time I'm recording this. Uh, I have a backlog of questions dating back many years. <laughs> so I have no shortage of questions, um, but I still kind of want to prioritize new questions. So if people ask me things new, uh, then, you know, I'll, I'll try to get to those pretty soon. So I don't, you know, leave you waiting. Like, for instance, the question I'm going to give, I'm going to answer today. I got February 16th, 2014. Uh, which obviously was more than five years ago. So I have no idea if the person who asked that question will ever see this video or even cares anymore. Um, I do plan to post this video in the place I was originally asked this question if I'm still able to. It's in a Facebook group. Um, so who knows? He might actually see it. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to try to knock out some of these in a row. Uh, so you may, you know, notice that I'm wearing the same shirt for several weeks in a row. So it might even become known as the ask Jeff shirt. I don't know. It, I actually do own more than one shirt though. Um, but the number of shirts I own that actually fit me is, is a very small number right now because I lost a bunch of weight, um, which I'm you know talking about on my fit Friday video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you want to, Friday's the day, you know, if you want to tune in and hear about uh, my amazing uh, fat loss journey. And of course, you know, I'm not deleting the videos after the day they're uploaded. So it really doesn't matter what day of the week it actually is when you're watching this. But I'm trying to do that, you know, hip uh, day content thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, and I'm also still adjusting to recording on this laptop. I haven't had very long as well as what places to record and what position to be in and chairs and all that great stuff. So I realize I'm uh, more than four minutes into this video and I have not answered a question yet. Uh, that's because the question I'm going to start with is, is a pretty simple one and, and should have a pretty short answer. Um, so I really kind of took the first few minutes to explain what I'm doing uh, because this is the premiere, but you know, you might see this after seeing, you know, 18 other Ask Jeff videos that I actually did after this. So who knows? Time is relative or something like that. So anyway, the question I was asked <laughs> more than five years ago was, what do you like about being an ESFP? And that's a good question because sometimes you see people ask things like, what are the best qualities of ESFPs or what are the worst qualities of ESFP, um, you know, or any other type. Um, but when I get those questions, I, I never know quite how to answer because I'm like, well, you know, 
to make it apply to all ESFPs or most of us, you have to make it kind of vague. But when it's directly asked to me, like, what do you like about it? Then I can focus on that, on my own experiences and that. And I don't have to really spend much time thinking about whether this is all encompassing for everybody of my type. And in general, that's what I like to do because I don't, I, I've never claimed and still don't claim to speak for every SFP and definitely not every SP in general. Um, so, you know, and, and there's could be people watching this video now who have watched, you know, uh, my videos about uh, like my weight loss and things like that. They don't even know what I'm talking about when I'm saying these letters. Uh, so I, I try to be as mass appeal as possible, but I realize some of the things I talk about are a little bit more niche and, you know, some people might be like, what is, what is he talking about? But um, type Tuesday is the day that I plan to do, um, you know, to upload videos where I talk about typology and all that stuff. So if you want to kind of learn about that sort of thing and my perspective on it, um, those videos will be coming up uh, also. So the question, what do I like about being an ASFP? Uh, the, my favorite thing about being an ASFP is that people's expectations of ESFPs are usually just for us to be fun. And I think I can do that. So there's not a lot of pressure on me to fulfill this, you know, stereotype of some amazing accomplishment. If you think about a lot of the other types, you know, people, the NF types, you know, people are like, oh, you're an ENFJ. You're supposed to be like, you know, this accomplished leader of people, you, you know, or some kind of profound teacher, you know, you're uh, an ENFP, you're supposed to be this just, you know, amazingly motivational person that has groups of people following them, you know, to the ends of the earth or whatever. Um, you know, INTJs are supposed to be like the masterminds of everything, you know, uh, uh, take over the world, via chessboard or whatever, you know, there, there's a lot of these expectations on, on other types for these things they're supposed to accomplish or have accomplished. Whereas with ESFPs, um, generally, like I said, people just expect us to be the fun ones. So I guess the only time that, that, uh, that ever is a problem is if I'm not feeling very happy and not having much fun. And then there might be some people like, Hey, aren't you supposed to be the fun guy? You know, what's, what's up? Um, which has happened to me a few times. Uh, but usually my response is something along the lines of, you know, well, people aren't allowing me to have fun. So, you know, and people also have weird views sometimes on what's supposed to be fun. Like, you know, I've talked before about the stereotypes of SPs in general are supposed to be like a bunch of drunks. Um, I don't do that, and plenty of other SPs don't. And so you have people who are like, well, you don't want to get drunk? Uh, what kind of SP are you? Or, what, you know, how can you have any fun? Well, unlike the people who require alcohol to have fun, I actually am interesting without that. Um, and a fun person, you know, without needing to uh, get inebriated on something. Uh, alcohol or marijuana or any of those kind of things that people uh, like to pretend are the things that induce fun instead of, you know, actually coming up with something fun themselves. Um, so uh, that's my favorite thing about being an ESFP is that the expectations are actually not too hard to meet. Um, and that might be a funny thing to some people because they might be like, well, aren't you supposed to strive for the best you can be, you know? Um, yes and no. Um, now, if there's anything that I'm really pursuing uh, that, you know, I sink myself into like, oh, I'm, I really want to do this thing. Like, I want to be the best at whatever it is that I'm doing if it's something I'm into. I mean, I definitely have that feeling about, but what that is changes a lot. And I don't, I never have had this idea of, oh, I need the best of my type of person. Like that doesn't appeal to me at all. Um, so that's not really even an issue. So anyway, that's what I like best about being an ESFP. There, there obviously are plenty of other things I could say that I like about being an ESFP, but I figured I'd kind of go uh, straight for that one and not make this a super long video. But if you have follow-up questions, leave it in the comments. I might answer them there or I might answer in a future video, don't know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that, like and 
get notifications and share and all that wonderful stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.